what is the pleasure of all you fine men? To insult the women you have ruined? How cruel are the traitors who lie and swear in jest to cheat and guard the creatures of virtue, fame, and rest? Who ever steals a shilly through shame the guilt conceals? And know the perjured villain with boasts that theft reveals? And know the perjured villain The very first opportunity, my dear, have but patience. You shall be my wife in whatever manner you please. Insinuating monster. And so you think I know nothing of the affair of Miss Polly Peachum? I could tear thy eyes out. Sure, Lucy, you cannot be such a fool as to be jealous of Polly. Are you not married to her, you brute, you? Married? Very good. The wench gives it out only to vex thee and to ruin me and thy good opinion. It is true, I go to the house, I chat with the girl, I kiss her, I say a thousand things to her, as all gentlemen do, that mean nothing to divert myself. And now the silly jade hath put it about that I am married to her, to let me know what she would be at. Indeed, my dear Lucy, these violent passions may be of ill consequence to a woman in your condition. Come, come, Captain. For all your assurance, you know that Miss Polly hath put it out of your power to do me the justice you promised me. A jealous woman believes everything her passion suggests. To convince you of my sincerity, if we can find a chaplain, I shall have no scruples in making you my wife. And I know the consequences of having two at a time. That you are only to be hanged and so get rid of them both. I am ready, my dear Lucy, to give you satisfaction. If you think there is any in marriage, what can a man of honour say more? So then, it seems you are not married to Miss Polly. <laughs> you know, Lucy, the girl is prodigiously conceited. No man can say a civil thing to her, but, like other fine ladies, her vanity makes her think he's her own forever and ever. <laughs>